I don't want to know what part of Mirage's body that suit came from. Hey! What's up, my peoples? And go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Core Class, Noah Diaz. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a nice image there of Noah. His name is Noah Diaz. Exo suit transformers. Hey, look, it's from a movie. On this side, we have Noah Diaz. On this side, we have Noah. He is a core class, class region, core class, 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 nuclear class, and nuclear. On top, Transformers Rise of the Beast. On the bottom, words, things, stuff. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. You don't have any bio, but that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Noah Diaz, as he appeared in Transformers Rise of the Beast, well, at the end of Transformers Rise of the Beast, anyway. Here he is in his, uh, in his exosuit, and he is packed in, I was gonna say robot mode, he's not a robot, he's a human, but human, robot, but exosuit. Robot, human, mode, whatever. <laughs> but here he is. This is the way he is packed. But well, let's get in close here so we can take a look at that noggin. There it is. Now, of course, they have this, you know, all filled in. It didn't look like this in the movie. In the movie, you could actually see his face. But, you know, I'm glad they didn't try to actually make his face. Because whenever they try to do... uh figures of the human characters in Transformers movies, they don't come out looking that great. So I'm glad they just kind of went with this full-on divisor, make it look all techy and whatnot. But still, it is nicely done. You can see some nice silver details there on the chest piece, some black. You do get some silver and a little bit of that metallic blue there on the form. You can see he has a big like arm blade going on there. And they did put some silver paints along that. And moving down the legs, you got some of that metallic blue, a little bit of silver, big old toesies. On the back, he has a, uh, a little folded up jet on his back, which this was not in the movie, but, you know, he has to transform into something, so they decided to give him this little jet pack, literal, a literal jet pack alt mode deal going on here. Um, now, granted, um, if you saw the movie, the, the exosuit is made up of uh, Mirage's parts, so... Um, you know, kind of doesn't make sense that he has, like, a jet on his back. I would have thought he, they would make him turn into, like, a little car or something. It would have made more sense. But, hey, it is what it is. But, hey, in the movie, Mirage could basically turn into anything. So, I guess maybe a jet, too, works. Why not? Dare I say, why not? But articulation-wise, what have we got? The head is on a ball joint. So, you got a lot of wiggly waggly. You can look all the way up. You can do total squirrel. You can do total squirrel. Um, you can look down a little bit. Head can do a full... 360, the arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out. Uh, the elbows are on a ball joint, so you get a bit over 90 degrees of bend. Your rotation is right there. He does have a waist joint, which is nice. Actually, on a ball joint, so you can get a little bit of wiggly waggly, a little bit of that Diaz shimmy. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint, legs can move up that far, back that far with the backpack in place, out about that far. Um, your rotation is right there at that ball joint. Knees are on a ball joint. You get 90 degrees of bend there, and of course your rotation is there. And the feet are also, guess what, on the ball joint, so they can move up, they can move down. You get rotation, and you have your ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, we just get his little uh, arm cannon here. It's done in gray. You see the barrel done in a gunmetal gray, and the inside of the barrel painted in orange, which is a nice touch. And this just pegs right over his hand, like so. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all that good stuff. And you can poke poke also, pew pew poke poke, pew pew poke poke. You know, Noah can do all of those things. And yes, the cannon is bluish compatible. It is bluish compatible. Blah, the bluish is taller than he is. But anyway, we can plug this in, and we can do a big old Noah. Oh yeah. Oh, he can't handle that kind of power. It's too much power. And another thing we can do here is, if you want, you can completely remove the backpack. So if you want a cleaner, more screen accurate Noah, you can have that going on. But we can take this, we can kind of open up the wings. That just becomes its own little jet drone thing if you want. But you can also take the cannon, and the cannon will plug in right 
under that nose cone section. And you also have a little post down here that you can flip out. And that can become a weapon for your other robots like, uh, like Mirage here. So hey, things you can do if you want to do it. So there you have that. And now for Gumparas. Hunt! Here he is with the, uh, the OG exosuit. As you can see how that works out. And here we have a lovely family photo of the Autobots and Maximals, all of our heroes from Rise of the Beast, minus Elena, but we're not going to get a figure of her. But hey, we got pretty much everybody. Um, They did just announce a Studio Series Wheeljack, so we will have the entire group in Studio Series form in time. But for now, a lovely family portrait we got going on here, so there you go. And in case you were wondering, yeah, you can do this, but yeah, not really, though. Uh, the nose is a bit too big for this to work out well, but hey, again, things you can do. You can also recreate this shot from the movie. Now, if you undo this section of the backpack here, there is a little bluish point there. You can plug an effects part onto that, and you can say, PUNCH IT PRIME! <sighs> So that is basically it for the exosuit mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So transformation here is extremely, extremely simple. Um, his forearms have tabs on them that will go into slots right back here, so just tab his arms back, tab his arms back. Um, you're then going to just kind of unfold the little jet on his back, so just unfold the nose section and bring that down, take the tail section, and just extend that back. You do have little tabs and notches on the backs of his legs, and that will just sit right there. Then you just point his toes, and there are little notches here for his heel spurs to sit in, and bring the wings out, and guess what? That's it. <laughs> and there you have Noah in his alt mode. You get a pretty good spin out of him, though. Pretty good spin. But yeah, there is the uh, there is the alt mode. That that is it. It's just it's it's uh, <laughs> it's not a robot under a jet. It's a Noah under a jet. That's all. That's literally all it is. It's a Noah under a jet. But hey. <laughs> Now, granted, if you, do, I mean, it's visible everything syndrome, you can turn his head around at least if you don't want to see his face, you know, it doesn't help much. You can see everything else, but you can do that though. But yeah, that's just <laughs> not really much of a transformation, but hey, this definitely is a thing you can do if you want to do it. If you don't care, you can always just pop this off. And there you go. Voila, you still got the little jet and you can have Noah right next to it. So, you know, hey, whatever you want to do there, whatever you want to do. But it is what it is. <laughs> ah, let's get this. Let's get this put back together here. There we go. It's not like it's hard to do. There we go. Yay! But let's get in close here. So we can take a look at those details. You got a little bit of black there. Some of that metallic blue. Some of that mirage blue going on there. On the wings, on the tail fins. And, um, yeah. Again, it's Noah. We'll turn his face around just because that couldn't actually happen because we would be breaking his neck. But you know what? For the sake of the toy, we can do that. But uh, yeah, but it's just, it's Noah under a jet. It's visible everything syndrome. He can slide like flying things slide. Hooray for sliding, flying. It's a really good spin though. Look at that. Look at that. But anyway, yeah, I, I think it would have made a lot more sense for him to turn into like a little car. But yeah, no, again, it is what it is. And for comparison, here it is with the OG exosuit. Here he is with RC, as you can see how that works out. And here he is with his main brochacho Mirage, so you can see how they look together. So there you, there, there, there you go. Woo! Oh, that didn't work out too well. And lastly, but not leastly, as far as his accessories go, the arm cannon does store. It does store right under the little nose cone there. So you have the full effect. Again, it looks really ridiculous because it's Noah under a jet, but still, hey, it's storage. Hooray for storage. So there you go. Yay. 
So there you have Noah Diaz, and uh, yeah, you know, it's a nice little figure. I mean, the exosuit mode looks looks good. It looks pretty screen accurate. I mean, minus the, uh, the jet on his back, but luckily you can just take that right off. The alt mode is not really much to write home about. It's it's not really good at all. It's just Noah under a jet. So yeah, the alt mode pretty bad, but again, if you want to, you can just take that jet right off and just have that be its own separate thing. A, things you can do. But hey, it's rare that we get full-on figures of the human characters in Transformers movies, so I'll take it, and I'm happy to have him as part of the cast here. So there you go. Now, I picked this up from CMB Store, but you can also get Studio Series figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the transformers studio series at core class noah diaz and this is emgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud palm in your face what is this you brought a human here and you gave him our tech Ah, come on, Prime, he's cool. He's with me. Noah, Prime, Prime, Noah. Um, are, are these suits rust-proof? Because I just peed so much in this thing. Oh, this cannot be.